What's going on guys, Bank Robber Games here with more Armour Core 6 and last episode when we left off we made our way a little bit further through Chapter 3 and did a really cool mission where we're facing off against the helicopter from the tutorial or the starting mission of the game which was really really cool and we also completed uh, Group C of the arena um, so got a little bit more of that completed as well and uh, yeah, first thing we're going to be doing is heavy missile launch support and this is as far as I'm aware the last mission we've got to do before we have to pick a mission that sets us on a path for the uh, playthrough and which ending and uh, det helps determine which ending we're going to be getting but for now we're going to be doing heavy missile launch support and uh, yeah see what this this has in store for us long time no see tourist job for you. The PCA show of force has finally started to affect my own business. Those spineless coyotes jumped at the chance to become their lackeys. Now they're feeling ambitious and sniffing around RAD territory again. I'd say this calls for fireworks. And I've got something that'll blow them away. The coyotes can be ungrateful, though. They're bound to come running to stop the launch. That's where you come in. Intercept them and defend the missiles. We'll make sure the coyotes and the PCA get a chance to see RAD's famous fireworks. So I'm pretty sure I've actually seen this mission before uh, at a play event in Japan. There was a video released of someone playing it and they actually did really, really well. Um, so yeah, we're actually going to change our builds and use a setup very similar to the one that he was using. And it just happens that it's the uh, Cold Steel build by Fighting Cowboy. So we're going to use that and go on the mission. It's almost time, Raven. Let's head over. Hopefully the dozers won't be too dosed up on coral to make an appearance. Yeah, the um, play event, the guy ended up running out of ammo and ended up um, beating the mission by punching everything. So that might happen to us. Activating combat mode. But we'll have to see. We started without you, tourist. Get to your position. We did arrive as scheduled. to come back to the watch point though. We're all set, Chief. Commencing missile launch sequence. And nice to have some turrets on our side. Oh yeah. For a change. You haven't met. Chatty's our systems admin. Doesn't talk much, but he knows his stuff. Anyway, no time for pleasantries. We've got coyotes to deal with. Never thought they'd end up palling around with the PCA. Smart, but not for long. Here comes the second wave. Keep the fireworks safe. So the other guy that's talking is actually uh, a opponent we just defeated in the arena not long ago. Still doing pretty well for ammo, for the time being. That skybox is wicked. They're coming from the bridge. Look at all those coyotes. Don't let them slip past you. Have 
are spicier products. Take them out first. Seems to be doing pretty well for time, other than that light missile. is down as well. Definitely a cool mission. Pretty decent payout as well. Our ammunition costs quite high using our miniguns. We're not too worried about that. see where he gets his nickname from but yeah that just leaves us with these two missions where we have to make a decision in terms of which path we're taking I think we'll go with destroy enemy craft or the special forces craft just because the payout is a little bit higher and it's a it says it's a special craft that belongs to the PA, P, PCA so I mean we'll probably see it more of it later on in the game but for the time being I want to show off and find out what this uh, special craft is and then that way if we do face them later on in the game we have a little bit more experience with them this request comes from the Rubicon Liberation Front let's see what it says Raven, we have a mission we'd like to offer you. The PCA has deployed the Cataphract, a special forces weapon specialized for ground combat. 
If we allow the corporations to seize this kind of technology, things will take a dire turn. We want you to deny them the opportunity. Destroy the weapon first. The Cataphract is a moving fortress equipped with almost impenetrable armor. It incorporates a bipedal MT as its core, making it a highly versatile threat. That MT core is also its vulnerability. Focus your fire there, and it can be beaten. You're our best chance. What do you say? So it looks like we'll be going up against one of the guys we saw in the story trailer, uh, which is really cool. And based on that trailer, the way to beat it was to get in close. And even though we're not using miniguns, like they were in the trailer, hopefully the shotguns should do, do the trick. If they don't work out, they'll probably switch back over to the miniguns. Or maybe even try, because uh, it's a ground-based enemy, maybe even try this build with a napalm launcher. And also have the melee weapons to hopefully get a lot of damage in if we do any stagger. Actually, I'm going to show off that build because I don't think I've, uh, yeah, I don't think I've shown this build in the in the playthrough so far, and it's a very fun way to play. So yeah, we'll go go ahead with one of the Boomstick Gaming's builds. Since the Liberation Front are hoping their rivals will wear each other down, they must be desperate to avoid confronting a triumphant victor. No, I use this when fighting against the sea spider. No, I think it'll still work well for the this, this target. Commence mission. Destroy the PCASP machine, Cataphract. Cataphract incoming. Approach in three. Enemy AC confirmed. Rapidly exchanging fire. Hoping the napalm do a little bit better. Definitely see why it gave the guys on the story trailer a lot of trouble. But yeah, I was hoping the napalm launcher would do a lot better. Seems like the melee damage is a good idea. Yeah, switch on over to our shotgun builds. See how that does. That's such a cool entrance for the boss, though. It's a little bit like a reverse. Uh, like a reverse version of the boss we did on the climbing the wall mission, where you have to get around the back of it. This guy, we have to stay around the front. Go to three. Enemy AC confirmed. Rapidly exchanging fire. Under the PCA's watch. Must be your license. 
Still quite a big threat to us, and it's um, that charge laser shot they did. But it's a single beam. Did a lot of damage. Mission accomplished. Still really, really cool, boss. Interesting that our. The, the pilot that we stole our call sign from has a bit of history so I don't know if maybe one of those characters in the story trailer their call sign was Raven and that's how we have um, you know other people that sort of know us from our call sign but yeah interesting because they thought that we were like, already known to them even though we stole the license. So yeah, I'm, I'm guessing the person we stole the license from definitely has an important role in the story. Or at least in the events that led up to what's going on now. You again. I'm a busy man. Far too busy for the likes of you. So I hear. Must be a tough time to be the Vesper's deputy commander. Get to the point. The plan to raid the PCA. You're going to need more pawns on the board. Of course. You're here to hawk your services again. Very well. I'll consider that mutt of yours part of the effort. One more thing. Show my hound some respect. Gen 4 is as good a pedigree as any other. Seems like Han is actually... Um, sticking out for us, which is quite nice. It's quite a mysterious figure, though, still. One new message. Raven, thank you for taking the cataract mission. Uncle Flatwell was pleased. He called you a valuable asset. With your help, maybe we can beat the corporations and the PCA. No, we need to stand on our own two feet. That's how we win. Seems like with that mission we've strengthened strengthened our ties with um with the sort of uh with the people already living on Rubicon uh, that survived the the catastrophe. Um so yeah, be I imagine that will come into effect later on in the in the game. There's talk there about taking down the corporations. Which obviously we're a little bit separate from, um, but yeah, always like a good sort of rebellion storyline in in an AC game and taking down the corporations that put you in the in the you know the the mess in the first place. So now we've only got one mission, and that's attack the old spaceport. And it looks like we'll be working with a, another friendly AC for this mission. I think for this mission as well, we're going to change our armor core up. Hey there, buddy. Got a request from Archibus for you. Here's the briefing from my CO, who came up with the plan. This is V2 Snail. I shall brief you on the operation. You will be under my direct authority. Consider it a rare privilege. We will conduct simultaneous surprise raids on two planetary closure administration bases. One is the Hall of Communications base, the relay for comms between enemy squads. The second is the former Bertram spaceport seized by the PCA for its suppression fleet. V4 Rusty will be dispatched to handle the Hall of Base. His objective will be to disable their network and prevent support from PC elite squads. Raven, during this time you must destroy all the heavy warships berthed at the spaceport.
solid plan, but there's a catch. Disruption of PCA comms won't last long. I'll come support you when I finish on my end. So we're going to switch over to one of Beamstick Gaming's build. And this one has a big focus on explosive weaponry and missiles. And obviously fit with hover, hover legs as well. So as long as, as, long as uh, ammo isn't an issue, um, this guy does seem to work in quite a lot of different situations. Very fun to play with. I've uh, used him to go back and play several missions uh, that we've already completed for the playthrough. And uh, yeah, he's a, he's a fun play style. If this mission succeeds, the corporations will deal the PCA a major blow. Ignore V2's snotty attitude. Just focus on your own work. Yeah, I don't think I'm a massive fan of V2. I suppose with a name like Snail, I guess it suits him. Main system, activating combat mode. Commence mission. Destroy all the Earth's warships. Very cool opening to the mission. Code 15, intruder detected. Sharing all base personnel. Commencing threat evaluation. I'm on standby near Harlow. Catch me in. I'll gauge the situation on your end before I jump in. You can see the hand missile launch actually does a lot of damage, which is cool. And the left grenade cannon does a lot of damage as well. Just does have a long reload on it though. Target for termination approaching warship. Estimated threat range three to four. Contain the target. The missile launch also has a very quick reload as well. Such a cool environment. Looks like there's a sniper guy up there waiting for us. Code 5, intruder detected. Level 4, handle it. AP at 50%. Code 5,
So yeah, if you manage to land all your shots with your missiles, you can actually stagger those LCs quite easily. So it means they go down quite quickly as opposed to using uh, the weapons we were using before when we faced them. I think we were using our energy builds last time we, we went up against them. Target is approaching warship. Definitely want to resupply gut health and make kids pack. Get all our ammo back as well. Enemy detected. They're firing from above. Close by. Target for termination approaching. Handle it. The main squad will be here soon. I need you back quick. Doing pretty well at taking it to the PCA forces. Code one five. Target for termination sighted. I had a feeling it wasn't over though. Time to pay the piper. Now it looks like we've got high ranking PCA officers. Sorry to keep you waiting. I've got your back, buddy. Hope you've got mine. Go double four. Send me what you've got on the target. Relaying system response. Corporate AC, B4 run. Independent mercenary radio. Data on the mercenary is being checked for discrepancy. Straight to that fellow. 
just means the corpse can't afford to choose. Down one to go. Shouldn't be too difficult with both me and Rusty focusing in on them. Right I have a feeling There's things are only going to get worse for There's us. Something there. Been a really cool mission so far, quite a long one. We should be pretty safe up in the air here. But we still have to land every now and then. It was definitely a cool mission. Big payout as well, even though our ammunition cost quite high, but I guess we were using a lot of missiles and we took quite a bit of damage, so our repair costs are quite high. But yeah, that was awesome. Wicked way to introduce a, I guess, what's going to be a boss. And uh, yeah, really fun using that build for it as well.
take it out, no one's going to reach the Convergence. We'll have a tough fight ahead of us, and everyone's getting involved. 621. Don't forget we've got a job to do on Rubicon. I didn't bring you all the way here for nothing. Be interesting to see why it's been made to protect the convergence. Can't wait to fight it then. Three new messages. Heard the news, tourist. Ice worm, huh? You just keep tripping up over the Institute's relics, don't you? Well, I got something that might interest you. Sent you a briefing. This is V-8, Pater. Your performance in the spaceport raid was admirable. V-2 and V-4 left a message for you. But the arrival of that monster, it's more pressing matter. Archibus and Balaam have agreed to a ceasefire, and are looking to cooperate, for the moment. It'll take time to formalize our agreement. For now, I've sent you another request. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. B-rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. You have entered the upper ranks. May these encounters further guide your technique. So it's cool to see we've unlocked more arena opponents. Have to get those done. Let's get those OS tuning chips. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. It's been a bit of a longer episode, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it, playing it. And uh, yeah, that was a really awesome mission to end the episode on. Um, so thank you very much for watching. And I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far. If you have been enjoying it, please like and subscribe for more. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode.